Hello and welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. This week we're back in the kitchen because I'm sick and tired of the room upstairs. No. <laughs> uh, because this was the last big hoo-ha apple fig chutney. Um, but we also have um, rescued a puppy. Yeah, salut tout le monde. Bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Cologne. Uh, nun zu unseren deutschsprachigen Freunden uh, oder unseren Freunden aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum. Uh, wir sind in der Küche, weil uh, Apfelfeigen Chutney, letzte, uh, letzte Ernte von, von Feigen. <lacht> Und wir haben eine, eine Welpen gerettet von der Straße. Mm -hmm. So, we were in Bouge recently. Yep. Uh, that was actually was uh, middle of last week. Yes. Right, and we were coming home, and uh, in case we haven't said, uh, it's been raining every day here. For 10 days. In a row. I mean, no stop. Downpours. Right, <laughs> right. And so, uh, on the way back from Bouge to come back to the chateau, uh, Patrick saw alongside the road that there was a dog. Uh, and and I know many- Pouring rain. In the pouring rain, right. So we went ahead and pulled over, and uh, I got out of the car because I was on the passenger side and I got out and uh, that dog just ran right to me. So we went ahead, got the dog into the car, uh, did a little bit to try to find out if there was a house nearby that maybe it belonged to, nobody was home. Uh, so we decided to bring uh, the dog back to the chateau and see if we could find the owners. Yes, and so this is a big road where there are a lot of trucks going and at high high speed <laughs> so it was um i would say just a matter of time until she would have run onto the road right so um we introduced her slowly to our dogs and well all has a happy ending
we're in a very lucky position because we actually have a microchip reader. Right, and we knew we had that because of all of the dogs when we brought them over to France, they all had to be chipped. Yes. And so we wanted to have a microchip reader. And so we actually have one here. And I think uh, we had had the, the puppy back here and I think maybe like, uh, I don't know, it wasn't too long after we were here that I thought about, you know what, maybe this puppy's chipped. Right. And so I got out our, our chip reader and sure enough, uh, she was chipped. Yes. yes. And so I could put her number into the uh, national database here in France and we knew her name, her birthday. She was, uh, she's actually yesterday was her, she was four months old. Four month old puppy. Yeah. Um, her, yes. So her name, so we could call her by her name and immediately her ears perked up. So she was, uh, she knew her name and by her behavior, she was very much loved. She loved uh, human companionship. And so she's uh, also part uh, border collie. Mm -hmm. And she started to hurt our dogs, which they did not appreciate to be nipped in the in the rear legs. No, they didn't. <laughs> or the hawks, so to speak. It's very funny. Mm -hmm. And by the way, that is Colin rubbing himself. He's uh, very happy with himself right now. Um, but so she is back home and it's always brightens one's day or just, you know, melts your heart when you see a grown man cry. But he was so happy. Um, and we were happy. We were. And so, uh, you can see it is important that if you do have a pet, you know, you should get it chipped. It is very important if it ever gets out or gets away that it, does it makes help. it so much easier to find it if yes. somebody finds them. So that was, that was our, uh, good deed for the week. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yes. Yes. So, uh, also this past week, uh, Patrick was in the kitchen, uh, doing... The last of the fig <laughs> with chutney. Yes. And this is an apple fig chutney. Yes. It's delicious. Good afternoon from uh, the Chateau de Colombe, another, and for this year, the last cooking session with figs. So in here are about three, yes, three kilos of figs, a kilo and a half of uh, onions, and I have about another good kilo of apples which i'm now going to peel and core chop up and put in there so this is apple fig chutney i will have raisins in it fresh ginger which i will grate in a little bit uh lemon juice and sugar so what i did yesterday uh this was all chopped up onions and figs washed of course uh, and then overnight, let I had this sit in a kilo of sugar. So that what you see uh, here, it's it's very liquidy. So the sugar draws out the liquids. Um, so this is lovely. And as always, I am going to use at the end a bit of pectin, but because apples do have pectin, not as much, because I like our jams, marmalades, and um, chutneys to be a bit thicker. In any case, so. I'm going to get to the apples while this is starting to boil. This will also have port wine, cinnamon, and other spices on it. It's very rich, uh, and, but very different chutney from the others I've cooked. So I hope you like it. So this now contains two kilos of sugar total. Uh, the apples, onions, and figs. And I put already in a little bit of port wine. Uh, so this is now coming to a nice boil and then will be uh, put on, on a low simmer. And I'm peeling a nice large piece of ginger root. In order to do this, you take simply a spoon and the root and scrub it off. You don't need to peel it with a knife or anything. This is perfectly wonderful. Um, 
I'm only saying that because sometimes people don't know. And uh, like me, in the olden days, I would take a knife and you lose way too much of your precious ginger. So this is uh, wonderful. You really take only the skin off and uh, it's absolutely perfect. So what you can do with this, uh, with the skin, you can actually make tea off of it, or you just put it on with a little water and let it come to a simmer and let it sit and you have a uh, infused water, if one so chooses. That's all up to you, but there are so many possibilities. I am not gonna do that, not today. By the way, it is a really gray, gloomy, rainy day. Maybe not uh, something to say, oh, that's wonderful, but uh, like everyone else, we need the rain, so no complaints. This is a piece that's just uh, mushy, it's the middle, it can, I can't do anything with it anymore. So I just throw it in there, but don't forget to take it out before you can. But this has still a lot of aroma in it, so no reason to waste that. In that goes, nice. It's coming to you, boy, that is lovely. Lemon juice. So I'm putting in cinnamon already, about three tablespoons, but I will put some more in later. It is. Okay, so these are mixed peppers. Uh, uh, three three tablespoons of peppercorns. In my case, mixed, you can take any peppercorn you like. Black uh, is giving you a bit more of a punch, so that's always good. Cloves, of course, as always. I love the cloves. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Now, everything you put in here, even though it might be incredibly spicy at the moment you cook it, will eventually uh, mellow down quite a bit. And I have more, putting in another tablespoon of peppercorn. It smells delicious already. So, uh, but, Half a liter of port wine. Shouldn't be stingy with that, right? This is about six kilo of fruit, including the onions. It's a vegetable, I know, but of, um, uh, and it includes also the raisins, uh, the raisin sec. So, and I, so far I have two kilos of sugar in it. I will taste it in a little bit to see if there is enough sweetness in it or if I would like it to be sweeter. Very nice. Quarter of a liter of apple cider vinegar, organic. Red wine vinegar now in. A quarter of a liter of aceto balsamico balsamic vinegar. 
So we have a lot of acidity in here now. And we will taste later, after this all cooked down a bit, to see how that all works. So, let's get, give that a rest. Uh, well, we're gonna put that on low and let it simmer. So as always, I am toasting the pepper and all those different peppercorns and the cloves. Make sure you don't burn them, you will taste it and you will lose a little bit of the uh, richness of the spice. Um, I'm also turning this now to low because it is bubbling and it should always be attended uh, on a regular basis. You don't have to stand next to it, but make sure it doesn't uh, be unstirred for too long. And oh, people always wonder, of course, how, when, how do you know that your spices are toasted? You can smell it. Now, spices you cannot leave unattended when you toast them. And I have to say, this looks really, really yummy. Uh, well, of course, I'll turn it up. Lovely caramel color in the end. And fantastic for the whole winter with, since it has port wine in it and cinnamon and spices, with goat cheese, pâtés, uh, or any of your meat cuts or vegetables. It's going to be delicious. You're going to love it. Unless, of course, you hate chutney, then you won't love it, no matter what I put in there. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So, these are our toasted spices, and it does smell delicious, and now it's also the pot's hot, so it will toast, continue to toast a little bit, so don't let it fool you, it's not, you know, it, it will be very intense. So Stuart just tasted the chutney, he wanted it a little bit more tart, so that is uh, lovely. Balsamic vinegar, a set of balsamico. And of course, port, more port. Keep a little bit back for myself. Uh, few tablespoons of cinnamon. Can't have enough of that. And now I'm gonna, as I always do, puree it a bit. Not completely. Oh, oh. Very heavy. If anyone is wondering why I'm using this and not the confiturier, the, so the big copper pot, because I can. I have these, uh, this as well, and needs uh, needs to be used as well. So this is sugar with pectin, which I'm using. Uh, this is, as you can see, it, it gets thicker, but it's not the consistency we like. So therefore, pectin with some sugar in it. Smells really, really delicious. So what you see here, things that are sticking out, that's actually the big ginger pieces that I still needed to find anyway, so perfect. 
good moment to taste it. Mm, it is pretty yummy. Okay, back onto the stove. And uh, bring it back to a nice boil. So it hasn't come to a boil yet, but you can see already it is a bit thicker in consistency. And I just, we don't like when our chutney runs off the goat cheese. So I'm gonna get everything together while this comes to a boil that I need for canning. Done with the preserves for this year. Right. And it, was, it was a lot. It's great. I mean, great fun. Uh, those are great gifts. And I know people always say, well, why don't you sell them? Because it's, it's simple. Shipping them is so expensive. So it's cost prohibitive, as they say. Right. Uh, but it was... Um, I'm glad that it's a couple of months without the preserves. <laughs> um, however, uh, I know some, some viewers do not care for any of the cooking. Uh, but a lot of people do, and they've emailed us and um, in the comments said, what, what are, when are you going to cook? We will definitely do mm -hmm. some uh, regional fall and winter and then spring uh, recipes from really for, for uh, here in our kitchen. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's fun to do, and um, I hope you enjoy that. Right, and it does take some time to do it and we have all of the the fruit trees and everything here so you know just like doing renovations and everything else this is something that we do at the chateau so this is something that takes up our time just like the renovations taking care of the dogs so that's why rescuing puppies <laughs> apparently <laughs> You know, so that's why we include it on the channel because it is something that we do here and it is quite time consuming to, to do it yes it is right so uh, yesterday, which was Halloween, is actually was my parents' anniversary. So it was their 65th wedding anniversary. So happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Right. <laughs> so that's it for this episode. Uh, if you like, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and recommend us to your friends. And subscribing doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us tremendously. And if you want to support the renovation of the Chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. Right, and we will see you on Friday. Absolutely. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. 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 <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you'd like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.